Hi everybody, this is Dino Chris from Prehistoric Facts. This is a Q&A episode. We got one person that's got a bunch of questions today, so let's actually jump right into it, shall we? So Benjamin from Hong Kong, are the spikes of Amargosaurus designed for defense? From what the evidence is actually saying is that probably not. Um, from what it actually seems like is that those spikes are probably going to be uh, used to actually have like a display structure kind of almost like a kind of almost like a like a like ridges or, or a sail if you sort of speak uh for a margosaurus now they may because they are kind of cone shaped but it seems that they're kind of not designed for defense that much at all i think they're actually just used for display so that's all i can say about that and so yeah they're they're mostly going to be for display Essentosaurus built like a Cretaceous rhinoceros. You could say that. Uh, it's got that one horn on, on its nose and you know it doesn't have that much horns uh, any, anywhere else. Uh, there's a couple of them on the frill but they're actually just not really designed for defense that much at all. They're just for display structure. But yeah you could say Essentosaurus almost looks like a dinosaur version of a rhinoceros but yeah that's a good analogy. Is Epidex Epidexipteryx and ex insect eater? Yeah, it is. It is. And when you actually see how small it is, and also how when you look at the teeth, uh, the teeth are kind of almost peg-like, uh, uh, sharp teeth, peg sharp teeth, and they're very very small. And it's a very small dinosaur too, and so it's more likely going to be eating insects, in, uh, insects, some larvae. You know that sort of thing, and that's what it's mostly going to be eating. Yeah, so that's that's pretty good to actually see that it is an insect eater. And who would win, Tarbosaurus or Therizinosaurus? Ooh, that's a pretty good one. Uh, two dinosaurs that are actually found in the same uh, rock formation in the Nemecta formation. So, how often would they actually come across each other? Probably a little bit, and you can say a little bit, yeah, probably a little bit. Uh, Tarposaurus will more likely go after the juveniles a little bit more than the adults. But in for sake purposes, adult versus adult. So Tarposaurus can be between 35 and 40 feet, and Therizinosaurus uh, is between 30 and 35 feet. And so what? Do you, and so and you got like a predator, and then you got like a mostly herbivorous dinosaur. And they're both theropods, so that kind of actually makes things pretty interesting. So, and it all depends on who's got the best weaponry, and also who is it, who's got the best weaponry. Tarbosaurus has got has got those powerful jaws with those um, with those uh, very strong teeth uh, for bone crushing and all that sort of stuff. Whereas Therizinosaurus has got those uh, huge hand claws uh, that are going to be used to kind of show Tarbosaurus like hey don't mess with me or the ways you're gonna get claws to the face you know that sort of thing so more often I would say Therizinosaurus would actually win this battle if it was adult versus adult so yeah so Therizinosaurus would win more often than it would uh, for like adult versus adult combat and so yeah I would go with Therizinosaurus on this one uh, because it's actually got the better defense uh, sort of speak now Tarbosaurus would be faster than Therizinosaurus in, in terms of speed. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, I would still go with, with Therizinosaurus on this one. Uh, but a lot of you may say Tarbosaurus because, like, it's got the bone-crushing jaws. It might actually just bite one of the arms, and then that Therizinosaurus is uh, kind of almost done for, and then it's kind of only got one arm to actually use uh, to battle against Tarbosaurus. But... Yeah, I'm still gonna go with uh, Therizinosaurus on this one because usually predator usually predators don't want to face off against a really healthy adult herbivorous dinosaurs because they can get injured a lot easier, you know. And that's that's the thing is that a predator's job is to uh, go and get what they need without injuring themselves. And if they get injured uh, when they're kind of when they're actually in the mode of hunting, then it's pretty much to the point where they need to like. Uh, kind of more likely scavenge uh, for a little while until they actually are ready to be until they're fully healthy enough to actually go back in and actually go start hunting again. But yeah, I would still say Therizinosaurus. 
But that's all the questions for now. So if you got any if you got any questions about dinosaurs or, uh, any questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life, feel free to email me at dinochris71 at gmail.com. Or just go on my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts of Dino Chris. Like the page, you actually post your questions in the comment section. And uh, for you YouTubers out you know, for you YouTubers out there, feel free to post your questions in the comment section and also uh, share the videos, like the videos, and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, you can stop on that notification bell so that way you can get weekly updates of every single video that comes out actually every single week. And so, yeah, and remember keep your questions short to the point. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at CSGRALL. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, take, keep, take care of the people around you. And also, for you younger people out there, to make sure you listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you could have for good education. It's very important to have good education. So, with a good education, you get a good job in the future. And uh, in this kind of pandemic, you make sure that you're socially distancing, uh, wear a mask if you're out in public, and, uh, and make sure that you wash your hands and and uh, practice good hygiene and make sure that you are being safe in this kind of time. And so uh, next week's episode would actually be the Transverse Rex Predator Hunter Scavenger debate. So this time I'm actually going to have much better evidence this time. And so um, I'm more likely going to make it more of an informational type of uh, extra episode. So I'm not going to get like too opinionated on this. So because I think the last time I was way too opinionated, I was not using uh, uh, the facts too much. And so this time I'm actually going to use a little bit more uh, evidence to support uh, the hunter scavenger debate a little bit more. All right. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you guys next week.